Hello and welcome to another fantastically fun edition of ChiefTutor.com's training videos in Chief Architect. Today we're going to be talking about the physically based rendering technique that Chief offers now in Chief Architect Premiere X10 and up. So the newer versions all have this new greatest view. So here I have a standard camera view that I took and remember we can have all different choices like we have the vector view that we're used to, the glass house view, but now they have this new one called the physically based rendered technique. And when you click on it, it tends to make the scene look realistic, but it doesn't always do the job right away. So there's some rendering techniques that we can apply to kind of make it go quickly. So the first thing I like to do is once I've launched it the first time, I'll double click the tool itself and I'll open up the rendering technique options and I'll notice with the camera exposure I can immediately bring up the light in the room and make it a little bit more bright. I can also have the computer automatically improve the light quality of the image and before you click OK it should actually do it automatically so it's nice kind of does it in live view as you're playing with it. So I'm going to click OK and that looks pretty good. My floor is a little shiny but for the most part everything's looking pretty good except for it's a little dark around the corners. So we want a little bit more light so we can play around with all kinds of different ways to do this. The first thing I'd like to do is go into my lighting tool. That's this uh, little light bulb icon that will pop up in the 3D view. So you double click that bad boy and it should open up your adjust lights. And notice how Chief is set to maximum lights being turned on at one time are eight. Well I have tons of can lights in this house so I'm just gonna jump that up to something like 200 meaning turn on all the lights in the room and so that way it will grab each light and make sure that each light turns on and should get a little bit brighter for you you can also adjust the sunlight see how the sunlight's coming through the window here and if I click this I have this ability to readjust the sunlight right now the sun follows camera I'm just gonna have that checked and whatever settings are on it seems okay for the moment I'm gonna come back and revisit that but let's keep going for this because there's a lot of fun things we could do. The next one is the rainbow tool and that's up here as well and that allows you to play with the textures of the plan and see it just kind of readjusted again. So again remember when we were talking about the floor is a little too shiny I'm gonna select the floor by left clicking on it one time after choosing the rainbow tool. I'm gonna go into my properties texture instead of polished I'm gonna go to something more like a matte finish and again you can adjust it even under the polish tabs but I just quickly went to the matte because I think it's gonna look best for our floor. So again give it a little time now it's got to re-register that new uh, uh, material and how it wants to treat it so we'll give it a little few seconds here to kind of catch up to us so for the most part it's looking more and more realistic it's a little bit more matte now the lights coming in a little bit nicer and more even all of our lights are turned on again we can go back at any time and readjust if we go to our physically bake or technique options it'll pop this up and we can readjust the camera exposure and bringing in more light but what I'd like to do uh, next is go to my 3D tool and edit my active camera this is the camera that is viewing it right now that I have turned on so it's calling it camera one it's saved it doesn't have shadows on reflections bloom edge so turn all these goodies on because this will increase the image quite a bit so that way the next time it views you'll really see some good quality changes so let's give it a few seconds while it does its thing dum 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 bum ba dum bum 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 wow hey this is not bad actually look at this the shadows happening more lights coming in it's looking more natural more realistic and remember that sun angle let's go ahead and play with that now I'm gonna unchange this and click on this bad boy and just kind of adjust the direction of the sun angle until I see something fun happening like like that's pretty fun let's see if I can get it more towards the floor oh right across the garage I like that so the lights now beaming in through my window right across this which is kind of a neat little you know wow factor so I'm going to let it adjust the way it's through. Seems to be good. I like that. And lastly, I might go right back to this and just expose it up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to turn my brightness on to, say, 2. And let's see what that brings it up to. Click OK. So I'm just trying to get more light in the overall so this doesn't look so dark and dingy. And we can actually add lights in the plan to light that up. But this is really looking uh, good from what I see. But let's go back to the plan view. And what I want to do is light up this side a little bit more. So I'm going to use uh, puck lights. Or better yet, I'm going to use, uh, if you choose puck lights, go 
right click on it choose show in browser it'll open up all the different cabinet lighting that we have and there's one called rounded which is really neat and zoom in on these wall cabinets and you can place them right in front of the wall cabinet and what that'll do is it'll place the light fixture hopefully right on the wall cabinet right underneath it so what they call what a light rail and then you'll need to probably readjust this so I'm gonna hit spacebar grab it just put it right under the cabinet now I have a light rail molding on my cabinet so it should hide it right underneath the light rail molding that I have and then the ones that do need to be adjusted you can click on it and there's a little triangle so you can turn it get it exactly where you want it now this will allow the computer to understand that now we have even more lighting and it's coming down on the countertop so it should shine a little bit nicer and a little bit brighter around the edges let's go back to our render view and we'll see this is the area where we want to really kind of spice it up and sure enough there it goes it's starting to re-render and that's the beautiful view it's just like doing a ray trace so it was instant it was fast it was just some small tweaks that we did to get our physically based rendering to just look exactly the way we want and um, that's been messing with lights and the physically based rendering tool here at chieftutor.com thanks so much for watching if you want to join up today you're going to see so many videos just like this it'll teach you all the tips and tricks so you don't have to waste time listening to that mundane voice that you usually hear when you're learning about Chief Architect.